Uh, good morning everyone and welcome out to the greater west uh, we we being me and if you're an original OG of the channel you'll remember this fella I'm gonna introduce you to a second for all the new people we're, we're out here to say today with Benny uh, likes his Lux he's my remember it he's still got the Lux he's driving and he's right in front of me now we are lovely we are just leaving the town of Yass I've driven all the way out here I met up with Ben and he's going to show me locally around, um, heading out to Wee Jasper, going to camp, check out a campground there and then head into the mountains. We're hoping to find a nice little spot next to a river. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of trout fishing. I've never done any successful trout fishing in my life, so that should be a bit of fun and I'm really looking forward to it. It's good to see Ben again. I haven't been out with Ben in so long. That's him up in front. Have a look. That's the Wikes' Lux. Yeah, that's where he went with Dave's boat, yeah? Yeah, yeah 100 percent So yeah. Full sh full uh, two o'clock. Ah uh, look, my dog's been in the back since about half past five this morning, so I do need to let her out to relief after a little while, man. So if it's not too far away, um, I'll wait, but she does need to be. Oh, whatever's easy, man. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll get um, I'll get onto this driving part. Um, like you just heard, I'm gonna let the dog out for a, let her relieve herself, and we'll jump back in the car and head on down to Wee Jasper, and I'll pick up the trail there with you. A uh, quick shout out to this video sponsor, Keen Australia, who just brought out their latest and greatest 2024 version of the Targi. Tar um, I've got a sample in the back. I can't wait to put these shoes on. Apparently, they are the most advanced boot that they've ever made, and I'm really excited about it. They're a good looking boot, and I can't wait to share it with you. So, stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for the fishing. God, I hope we get some good ones. All right, till then, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Adventure Camping Australia is a proud ambassador of Keen. We also choose Black Wolf. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and hit that notification button so you see our videos come out when they do. Thank you for watching. and then all you see is water, then you see ocean, and then nothing, and then land, and then nothing, and then ocean. After a little bit of a drive through the back country, enjoying the views, the hills, and the incredible blue sky, we finally make it to the place where we're going to decide what to do. The campgrounds here can be booked online or at the counter. We're not staying here the night, we're going to try and find a place further up the river where we can let the dogs off, off the lead, 
I can relax, we can relax, we can have a bee and a fish. Enjoy the day. I reckon every backcountry road in New South Wales feels exactly like this road. We could easily be driving out the back of Hartley right now or down to Janolan Caves. are so incredible on this road it's, it's been a slow hog like a slow slog because we've been in a bit of traffic but it's been like a welcoming drive um, I've just been able to sit back sit back and just enjoy it and here we are yeah I was just looking at that What? That's one of the best entrances to a town I've ever seen. Yeah, it's a nice spot, not much here, but nice spot. Yeah, that sounds like the go. So we're going to head for Swinging okay. Bridge. We're going to head for Swinging Bridge rather than go into the campgrounds for a look around just now. Um, if we don't find anything that's suitable, we will come back here. They do have showers and stuff there. But for the meantime, I, I think it's best that we just get out there, have a good look around and give ourselves the best chance of finding like the spot. Oh yeah, that's the plan. This is Swinging Bridge, second campground. We've got some campers here. Beautiful little spot. All these camp areas look empty, man. Yeah, I told you, I think, I think like on Easter and Christmas time just get busy down here, not many people come down here. Oh yeah, nice and quiet. Where are we headed now? Uh, Swinging Bridge. Okay, I thought that was. people here this one yeah, this, is, this is another campground that's the river there there's all big waterfalls up there yeah that's that's not a bad walk but this road I've been told heads up into the mountains apparently you go straight and I don't know if there's a gate up there or not but I guess we can find out but apparently that just heads up into the mountains and um, follows the river and shit, so I don't know. We'll go for a venture up that way if you want. Oh, well, it's only early, man. We've got time to kill. Yeah, that's it. Alright, cool. Yeah, what time actually is it? Uh, yeah, it's only 20 to 12, so happy days. Let's go. Come on. Alright, so we've gone as far as we're prepared to go on this track. The, uh, the waterways are just becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, so there's, a, unless someone knows where to go up here, there's, there's not going to be any fishing. So we're going to head back to Wee Jasper, check out the actual campgrounds there. Um, I think Bondo National State Park's up that way. It's a really weird area, I don't understand what's going on here. Like all the um, pine forest is all fenced in, so I'm not sure if it's private 
um, logging land or what, I'm not too sure, but unfortunately I can't get the maps to load to get a better understanding of where we are. So we're gonna go back, get some reception, check out the campground and um, have a better, more informed decision when we get there. We're just going over the mound. I did see a cattle grate and next to the cattle grate was a little like offshoot road up. And I saw a sign just like up in the, up in the scrub. Of course it says private property. So interesting place where the pine forests are either being privately grown purchased off this state or don't know but it's um yeah fenced pine forest never seen it before interesting huh so i don't even know if we're in um state forest now i've got no idea I get where the we are money, it's right on cue keep the duffel bag up inside my coop hold a couple racks tell them i love you you want to be a boss do it like i do uh, yeah. get that money i'm a flex i get that money i'm a flex Get that money, I'm a flex. You now rockin' with the best. Oh god, definitely working, just no light. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was a bit of fun. Then just come down that hill. Um didn't look like much coming from like standing at the bottom watching him come down. But it uh he's pretty steep. He's got pretty sideways on it. Ah, it was an easy drive. Looks like you had a bit of fun. Alright, let's go and check out these camps. And, uh, make a decision, eh? Hey? Mm. <laughs> it's Ben draining the snake with a dead wombat. <laughs> it looked like he was sitting up. Perfect mate, no props. So we just popped up into this little thing on top of this mountain, it's absolutely beautiful. Views for everywhere. For everywhere? View <laughs> Views forever. But we can't stay up here because we need to have a fire and this is not a good spot for a fire so we're heading back to camp now. Check this out, eh? where we just were, right up there. Man. That was just sick in there, I loved it. Here we are. <laughs> Back here again.
All right, guys. All right, guys, we're back here at camp now. We have come back to, I think it's called Billy Grace. $18 something a night per person. The grounds are exquisite. They don't actually allow fire, open fireplaces here no more, like on the ground. So you have to get a fire drum, which has kind of put our hot pot idea to the grave. But we have a solution. We are going to, because we got a legless, uh, legless. We are going to, because we got a um, boneless uh, leg of lamb, we're gonna slice it up into steaks and we're just gonna fry that off. We're gonna do some veggies just in the saucepan and that is gonna be our dinner for tonight. It's nice and simple. We spent a lot of time out in the forest today doing nothing. A bit disappointed we just for forest day. I'm not sure what the attraction is to it, but it's definitely not a forest to come and see. Come to these campgrounds if you're coming out here. These guys, these guys have got these places set up very nice. Um, Ben's about to go and do some fishing. Uh, we've got to chop up this wood, which we went and collected from the forest. We didn't chop it up out there, so. I'm gonna get on to preparing dinner, and then I'm gonna get it on. At some stage we have to get the fire on too, so. I reckon I'm probably gonna need the cooker. I don't know if my cooker's gonna fit that can. God, I hope we got enough gas. All right, another change of plans. So we didn't get a boneless. We got a full leg of lamb or a half leg of lamb with bone. So Ben's gonna get the fire going as quickly as he can. And in the meantime, we are gonna- It's gonna be awesome. No, oh, it's gonna be unreal. We've lost the light, the light's gone. The dogs want off the lead. <laughs> that's a dingo, by the way. That's that's an official dingo. The Americans have told us it is. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to get the uh, hot pot up to temperature on the stove. I don't have a lot of gas, so we're not cooking on the stove, but we're definitely going to use the stove until the fire gets hot enough to start to transfer it over. Um, I've already started the veggies, but we'll probably just end up throwing them in the hot pot too, like as you would. So that's the plan. I'm not going to cut up the lamb like I thought I was going to be able to, but we will um, see how this goes over the next couple of hours. Just don't pay attention to those beers. They haven't been drunk yet. They've just been You've open. Got one of them hearts too. Hearts? Yeah, no, they're good. They're a good axe, hey. Chopper. <laughs> Probably right. All right, let's. We are going to make a lot of noise. We've got to hurry up. Yeah, I know. Are you going to have any back? No. Just trying to find the one without a lid on it. Your hand. Fucking. Yeah. All right. Um, you might get the little one out and do the little wood if you want to do the big wood. Yeah? You get both going. All right, just quickly, um, we've seared off the uh, lamb. It's not something we normally do, but that's what we're doing tonight. That's ready to go back in the pot. Don't look at that, I've burnt it. <laughs> so that can go straight in. All right, she's in. All I got in there is just um, some veggies to keep a bit of a stock flavor kind of thing going. Not something we normally do either. We normally don't have water in there either, but it's just all off the cuff tonight, so we'll see what happens when it happened. Great, the lid's in the dirt. When did that happen? What? Oh, is that what you tripped over? The lid. Sorry, dude. <laughs> it wasn't a brandy burn, but it was definitely hot. 
So as you could imagine, we were having a great time trying to get this uh, meal cooked up. It didn't turn out too bad. Uh, we ate up our dinner, filled our bellies, and uh, we sat around the fire and enjoyed the night until about 11, 11.30, and then we hit the uh, sack, ready for a big day of fishing. Things say that the Targi 4 is the last boot you'll ever buy. Now I also said that about the Targi 3s, because they are super soft under the feet and they look after you. But trying these on, I can tell that these boots are rebuilt from the ground up. Firm underneath the feet, unlike the Targi 3 which has got that really soft cushioning, you feel more in touch with the land that you're walking on. While fishing this river, I can tell that the waterproofing is next to none. Looking down at my feet, I can see 
that even though the water is lapping over my toes, these shoes are not even getting wet. What kind of space age technology do they have in these? The sole of these boots, you can walk for miles, you can tell that with the delaminating guarantee that these carry, you are never gonna have an issue. Keen, target four. Falling in. He's a weird looking little fella. That's cool. And they're white. The ones I've had are red, you remember? Yeah. That's Damn. cool, huh? What'd you get, mate? Whoop. It's not very classy. Go on a hand. Got no sport on you. gonna get me if I help him. <laughs> there we go. He's a jitter tap. See you, mate. <laughs> Looks like it's got a jacket on, but not a woolly jacket either. Animal graveyard, man. This must go heaps far in. Ow! Damn, I stepped on a bone. When you went in. Yeah, knocked on down there. That's it. We've packed up, we've spent all morning, it is now 12 o'clock, doing the fishing. Zero fish. <laughs> Zero fish in that damn river. Uh, well, what can you do? That's, that's what happens. Then the breaks. I had a really good time last night. It was um, quite relaxing out here. Got to catch up in some, some old stories between me and Ben and some stuff we used to get up to with the crews. That was fun. Really appreciate the time out, Ben. That was that was unreal. Thanks, mate. Um, probably gonna cut the video here. I'm about to get back onto the highway and head home, so I doubt we'll be doing any more fishing. It's already getting a bit late, so I'm gonna leave that here. Um, if you've liked this video, I hope you really have because I've enjoyed making it. Well, I enjoyed the weekend. Well, if I can still make this video any good, I hope it turns out fine and you've enjoyed it up to this point. So, um, as usual, uh, to thank you guys for watching um, if you've enjoyed the content please hit the like button and if you want to see some more of it hit the subscribe button it means a lot it helps the channel grow and it lets me know that uh, what I'm doing is right and is are enjoying it so on that note and as always see you on the trails